Hey everybody, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and with me I have Jacob today. Jacob is 17 years old and about three weeks ago had an episode where he was playing soccer and was struck on the side. Uh, his knee caved in, he went down, couldn't continue playing, saw me about two days later, and um, and he tore his ACL. Now, we have this uh, confirmed by MRI also, but we pretty much knew the day he did it that, that that's what happened because he had the mechanism with a valgus stress, with a rotation. He had a flexed knee posture when he came in. He had joint effusion and very mild joint line pain. Um, all very common and he had a very positive Lachman test and reverse pivot shift. So what I want to talk about is just kind of how we evaluated him. So the first thing we look at is, you know, how well does he extend? And he has hyperextension on both sides. Okay. Um, how well does he flex it? Let's bend it as far as you can. And we get a little bit snug and tight there because he has some effusion in the knee and that kind of limits us a little bit. His pain has been really minimal throughout this whole process and he hasn't even had a lot of a flexed knee posture. After about three or four days that flexed posture with walking went away, which is very rare with ACLs. Um, the swelling didn't happen immediately, it happened over a couple of hours, it just progressively got worse as the evening went on. Um, so some of the things that I want to show you, first of all, I'm going to have you lie right down, Jacob is the brush test. So I always test patients by checking the temperature of both knees. There's a little bit of synovitis here still compared to this side. So this knee is warm. Um, then I do a brush test to see if he has an effusion. If you take a look here, you can see it pop up. It's not quite as much as it was a couple weeks ago, but there it is. Okay, so that tells us that he has something inside the joint going on. Um, the MRI showed that he had no meniscus there, just a little bit of bruising on both uh, tibial plateaus. But other than that, pretty much just an ACL tear. Um, I want to demonstrate the Lachman test. So he relaxes really well. If you take a peek here, you'll notice that not only do we have excursion, a lot of excursion of the tibia on the femur, but we don't have that nice firm endpoint, like taking your shirt and snapping it like that. Okay? So we don't have the endpoint, we have a lot of excursion. We look for a sag sign, okay, to make sure he didn't tear his PCL, so we don't see that the tibia has dropped. Posterior drawer, it's nice and solid. Anterior drawer, I do very seldomly, but periodically we'll do it, and there is some play compared to the other side, but it's not as dramatic as the Lachman test. Okay. The other way we can confirm this, too, is to do a reverse pivot shift. So what I like to do here is bring the knee into a valgus type position and start to extend and what you'll see here is a did you see that kind of clunk into place he should smoothly screw home as he straightens out but what happens on when you do the reverse pivot is that it clunks right there and then slowly 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 snaps into place okay that's another sign of an ACL tear I then briefly check the medial capsule by keeping the knee in full extension. I do a valgus stress test. 20 to 30 degrees of, of uh, flexion. Check the MCL. That's fine. I get in here when I do the LCL. I keep it at full extension for the lateral capsule. Flex them a little bit. Lateral collateral. There's no play there and no pain there. I like to palpate the joint lines to see if he has any signs of a meniscus tear. So joint line fullness and palpation are a very good indicator of meniscus issues, especially in somebody his age. If he was 75 years old, then we need to be concerned with arthritis there. Um, no medial joint line pain, no pain along the medial collateral ligament. We do the same thing on the lateral side, so we follow the joint line, no joint line pain, no LCL pain. He has no tenderness to the proximal fibular head, which needs to be checked. Sometimes that can be fractured also. Um, so he has an ACL tear, we're doing some prehab, he's all lined up for surgery here and um, uh, he's going to do really well, he's, he's good and strong, his proprioception is improving, his swelling is going down and uh, should have a much better outcome afterwards. If you have any questions uh, in regards to a brief evaluation of an ACL uh, tear, please get in touch with me, just uh, leave a comment in the uh, bottom of this video and or get in touch with me at paul at orthoevalpal.com. I'd be more than happy to uh, discuss uh, these types of situations with you. Thanks again.